So yesterday, yesterday was my PR. Just because it was my PR, it doesn't mean we are not at the gym back again. All it means is we have to work harder, actually twice as much as the last year um, when I was pre preparing for the bench. We need to build up the strength even more and get ready to fight. I don't do PRs often. This is the first PR I have done in a half a year, I think. Actually, even attempted. I don't even usually do flat bench, like I usually do incline bench. It's just better to build up my up, up, upper chest muscles because my lower chest muscles are deep, deep developed enough. Not enough, you, you could always be bigger and better, but it's just that they are big enough and I need to build up my upper chest and my middle chest. That I know, I know there is no middle chest or lower chest, one of those two, but you know, you, you know what I mean. I want to have the f full chest look so. Yeah, today on agenda we have lateral raises, basically shoulder workout, side delts and back delts, and let's start with lateral raises. I have warm, warmed up, I'm gonna take 14 kilos, nothing crazy, Not, nothing crazy at all, and do lateral raises. Those for around two more sets and then move on to back delt action. And for you guys to wonder, wonder why are you doing why aren't you doing that exercise? That exercise for side delts, well the basic answer is there's only really one way to hit your deltoids that is you know, just flies, standing, or bent over, and that is how you grow your shoulders if you not have any uh, other equipment. So, yeah, I'm gonna do two more sets here and move on to oh, back delts. What's up, dudes and dudettes? <laughs> so, yeah, as I was telling you, shoulder day has been done. 
legs have started to hurt. It has been two days since leg day, so they are fully not pumped but in, in recovery. As you can see like striations here, here, tear the ropes, and all the good shit basically. So that is that. And remember who, who remembered to bring a stringer? This guy. Okay, maybe not stringer, but cut off shirt. Oh. So yeah, now we can concentrate fully on shoulder, shoulder pump. Shoulder pump was created by just by lateral raises, bent over raises, and then laying down face pulls. This basic. So back out is basically a look like this, and if you can see, but. There is something there. Obviously, triceps and side delts are overpowering my biceps. My side delts, yeah, here, right here. They are decent. I don't know how to say this, but. Like without legs, I look so fucking skinny. Not skinny, but uh, my legs look skinny. Right? So, flex them a little bit. Now, this is. Most muscular. <sighs> so just Talk yourself something of interest. Let's try to flex my calves. Calves flex. <laughs> crabby, crabby, crabby. Right. <laughs> so. That is that. Still 20 kilos to go until the end of the summer. Or in the middle of summer. 20 kilos off. Get some better de definition. And this is where like the slow cutting. You know? I don't really have to worry about calories and of course and I'm trying to not eat over them. But then to try to not be in calorie, calorie surplus. But if, if I am in one day, 
it's kind of fair because I can go harder at the gym the next day and just cut down the next day. Like it, it's not crazy for me. I have like like much. I have seven months ahead of me. Just if you count this one, like eight months ahead of me for cutting down around two kilos a month. Like you know, four six. Like 14 kilos plus and minus in the middle of summer hope oh, so I, I will be let's say 15 kilos if I even lose only 15 kilos I'm still gonna be 105 kilos pretty decent like my legs will be shredded my chest will be pretty good my shoulders as you saw right now and biceps will be good so 100 kilos I am pretty sure that I will be a Henry Cavill's on Superman level, like um, not not that kind because he's he's or is not on performance enhancing drugs. It is on the uh, it's I basically no comment on that. But he's more he's older than me. He has worked out maybe even longer than me. So I am not my muscle bellies are not that mature so obviously he's gonna be better he's gonna have a better physique but at the same time if I cut down like right now you saw like I'm not bad by any shape like any type of imagination like I'm not that bad looking right for 24 124 kilos 120 kilos and not that bad for it but again I am 6 too so Six, six to like what I have been working out for six, six, seven years, so that is basically not pretty much all muscle, but a lot of that way is muscle and organs, bones, and everything else. So body fat is probably okay. I'm I, I am I am not going to lie to you. Like twenty percent body fat, it 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 is possible, and even pretty probable, but at the same time. Who freaking cares, man? If you're able to go hard at the gym, then I don't see any problem with having a little bit more body mass. It's especially if you can see your muscle bellies and and like like with my, with my in my stage, I am pretty happy with 120 kilos. There was a stage in my life when I was 100 kilos and I looked like more shitty than I look now, and that was. In a pretty young age, I was already 100 kilos, so I have been always fat AF, so F in the chat for me, for my ch childhood and all that shit. So yeah, grew, grew, grew up mean and tough and, and yeah, so let's not just get into my childhood of being fat and all, basically obese, but let's concentrate on right now, this year. The next year is gonna be my peak, my, my peak form up to this point, like 100 kilos. So I have not been 100 kilos since like seventh grade or something. So, and I mean it like that is a low number, like 100 kilos, because at the at the end of my, I don't know how you call it in English, like secondary school or high school or something. Like basic school, basic, basically basic school ends, and I am like 16, 17, 120 kilos, looking like shit. Got down to 105 kilos. Yeah, last year, at the end of the last year, eight up, bulked up to 125, 130 kilos, which is my max. Now again down to 120 kilos. Lost about four, three kilo, four or three kilos, and ready to take it to the next level. Lose down to one hundred kilos and, and float around there for the summer, like main gain. And then after summer, in the winter time, we're gonna have winter bulk. And yeah, that is it for my pump check. I'm gonna have to go do my 
cardio. I hope you enjoyed this pump check because I felt pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still not seeing the video, so I don't know if I moved right or not, but I felt pretty decent. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, which is gonna be around in three days because I have this is my work day, and then I have three days off work. And I, I film these videos if, if you don't know already in on my on my working days, and I edit them and I post them when I uh, do my cardio, so everything goes hand in hand. And uh, but still, I have been thinking about making these videos and posting them in the evening because I live in Eastern Europe and. Basically, if I want to want to give chance of Western countries in country in my videos, I have to post that the evening because then you are awake and I am asleep. So I'm thinking about editing this video and getting getting it ready for the evening and then in the evening just posting it when I go to sleep and hopefully wake up with more views because. Lately, for the last month, this has not been working for me, just posting them in the morning when majority of Western countries are sleeping. I don't get as many views as I could. So, yeah, thinking about changing my upload schedule, I'm gonna still upload like every working day and try to do one entry on my, on my lifting the diary which is basically these videos for me to look back at my life where I was 